Hey people, it's Mo again, and I'm here to show you like this really great fun project that I just did. You know how I was having pink withdrawals for the month of um, February for our swap. Well, I stuck to the program and I did all of the other things in the colors we we're supposed to do. But I gave myself free range on doing something pink because I know my girl. She loves soft pink and she loves cream together. And we were since we were doing organizational stuff, I decided to make her a third, a third count, a third place for her to stuff more goodies. So let's start with the paper line, where I got it, where we got the die cut and all of this. This beautiful book, the whole die cut, which is a valise, see? Okay, and then it's got all the little pages with all the little tuck outs. I'll show you in a minute. This came from Fab Scraps. And as we all know, we can't get our stuff from South Africa. So Scotty jumped up to the bat and was the first guy in the United States to carry this stuff from CHA last year. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, so I dolled this up to make a, a thing. So now the first thing that I did that I want to show you is this paper line that I used throughout the book is the one that is from um, the Timeless Traveler. Get it? How perfect is that? To go with the little valise because it's going traveling to my partner. Okay, cool. So then I took, you can't see a lot of this paper, but it was just enough because I love different textures. I love embossing stuff and the whole thing. Okay, this paper back here was, um, Scott, don't shoot me if I get this wrong. It's Canvas Corp, I'm pretty sure, but I got it from you and you know who it is. And then this paper here is Pink Paisley. So this is pockets and I made two of them, which was one of my famous envelopes, but I cut it in half to make it look like the pockets on the front of a book. I mean, on the front of a valise. Okay, so for your little passport or whatever. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun to have a passport with a big old pink rose on it? <laughs> okay, and then this here, this is another Sizzix die cut, which I got is Tim Holtz, and I got from Blue Moon Scrapbooking. And my favorite cheesecloth that, you know, you get at your Safeway store and you, in the baking aisle, and I have used it on projects for years. But it just gives it, the more ratty that you could, like that on purpose, you just keep pulling it, it just makes it lovely. And that ribbon there is from the ribbon retreat sorry it's from my stash but anyways i love this one a lot i buy it in like a hundred yards or whatever and it was like a song it was like nine bucks the ribbon retreat say hey to kayla when you talk to her okay anyways and these are little melissa francis the melissa francis um little frames i get from blue moon and some of my stash from my bling and some of my ribbon from my bling and that stash from my bling and okay so you have that one then you open it up this way and then we have made, with our Tim Holtz one, the Baroque die, I made a pocket in here inside of the envelope, and there's a pocket in here as well. Okay, and then some more of my stuff. And here's what, look at this, in my desk. Okay, these are the kind that you get from Scott, and, and I love these little cards. So I decided to make a tag out of that one for on top of the book, but I got those at Blue Moon too. Okay, so then we get through with that page. So that one's a pocket, that's a pocket there. And then we get to this page, and I used my Tim Holtz again, and then I came back and I took I took the bottom half because that's one of those on the edge ones. But I wanted to be kind of freewheeling, so I did that one there like that. And then this one is a pocket back here, and this one I didn't emboss or anything. I just wanted it to be a pocket and to give it a little more depth. Okay, this paper back here is French Kiss. This paper here, all of the pink stuff, is the uh, Fab Scrap ones, the Timeless Traveler. But this is the French script, and that one is um, I think it's Glitz Designs and then some of my private stash there. So that's page number two. Oh, but then you open it up and look at here. So this is the back side of this paper from Fab Scraps, and that one's the back side of the other one. I'll show you in a minute. But anyways, here's another envelope. So you have a place to tuck in there, and I just love a monochromatic look, so I've tucked that one in there. And you could write little notes, okay? And then I just used that whole ribbon on purpose to leave it as a closing so you don't have to use Velcro and all that other nonsense. Okay, so that's page two. Okay, then page three, then we use some more of our um, beloved cheesecloth and my ribbons. But here's another one of the Tim Holtz um, embossing folders that we got. So I made this, cut this one down and made it into a pocket, totally ratted it out, made it like a frame, totally grunged it up. It's uh, so fun, the rattier the better to go with the ratty cheesecloth. But anyway, so then you have a little place for a note in there or your passport or whatever if you're pretending. So then on this page, this one is a, um, one of the new Sizzix dies. I get it, got it at Christmas time, but I showed it to you in another one. But I have found the home for her because she's flying away, right? So anyway, so this is a pocket here. This is a pocket here. This, you guys, oh my God, I have to show you. The, um, I got this set. I want to show you um, these dies. But this die is one of only of the 11 
of the one from the uh, Spellbinders that's Donna, Salaz Donna Salazar's new one that I got at Blue Moon Scrapbooking. It is the best die cutting set. I got to, hey, okay, hang on a minute here, Scott. I mean, Scott, Jeff, hang on. So out of the 11 pages, you have to use the Grand Caliber for the big one. But of the 11 pieces that you get with it, damn it. Oh, did you guys just hear me say that? I'm so sorry. And I just dropped one of them, two of them. Hang on. But you guys, you have to get Scotty to get you this set because I'm telling you what, all of this stuff will fit in your big shot with the exception of this one. This one you have to run through your grand caliber because it's too wide, it won't fit. But look at all of the possibilities that you get. You could do the scalloped edge, you could just do a border, you could put it on a card. Okay, so this little one right here that I was just got sidetracked on showing you that was in my pocket, this was this little tag one. What a cute size is that? And just a little book plate, right? So, um, no, it's this one, sorry. <laughs> I could see that myself, but that wasn't big enough. <laughs> but it's this one. And then I came back and dry embossed it, and then I flipped it over, and I got that look. So anyways, I got sidetracked, but I just wanted to show you those because these are so much fun. You get an on-the-edge one. You can all these other edge ones, and I'm going to do another video for just those. But you got the tabs for the top of your thing. It's just great. Okay, so sidetracked, there you are. So there's that page. And then we got a little Prima flowers. Everybody loves those. And then some more pockets. Now you guys can see that canvas court paper really good. I just love that paper. God, I hope they never discontinue that one because it's so much fun. And then another little place for, for tags. Here's another one of those Dana Salazar ones that I just used. See that pretty little edge? So that makes a nice little one too. And then, oops, I'm in the wrong pocket. But it's actually two pockets there. See that? I made it that way. But, and then I taped this one down instead of putting the pockets there. I made two that way. Okay, so then, then you get to this page, and then we've got our Tim Holtz big flower back here, and then I put a Prima on top of it, some more of my lovely ribbon, that's my own stash, Tim Holtz paper, and there you go. So this is your little traveling suitcase, my little secret squirrel, and I hope you love it, and if you don't, send it back, because I have three friends that want this one too. Okay, thanks. Bye.